the ultra blue channel where we provide detailed guides and tutorials to help you master tech today we'll be covering how to create and manage users in kali linux whether you're a beginner or a seasoned professional this guide will help you understand user management in a secure and efficient way before we dive in make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest tutorials your support helps us to create more valuable contents let's get to it First, let's create a new user in Kali Linux. Creating a new user helps you improve security by not always using the root account. So let's go ahead and create a new user. Let me open a terminal. Um, let me open a root terminal. So I'm going to put in my password. Great. So now we have um, our terminal here in root, which was solved by the recent update of Kali Linux, in which you have to create a user before you actually install Kali Linux. Initially, you you, you only you had to log in as root before. So let's get to it. Let's create a new user. So to create a, a new user, you need to use the add user command followed by the username you'd want to create for. For example. Let's say you wanted to create a user called um, Rexona. So we'll say add user space, then we'll type in the name of the new user we'd want. So in this case, Rexona. Uh, I think this is spelled right. Then we hit enter. Now, this command will prompt you to enter a password for the new user and fill in information. So let's put in a password. I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five for the sake of this tutorial. Then I'll be asked to retype in the password. So I'm going to type in again, one, two, three, four, five. Enter again. You're asking me for my full name. On this screen, you can decide to put in your full name. However, if you don't want to put in, put in your details, you just want to skip it. You can go ahead and press enter, 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 enter. Is this information correct? Yes. It's enter. And done. Our new user has been added. So now let's go ahead and add this user to our pseudo group. To grant administrative privileges to this new user, we'd have to add them to the pseudo group. This allows the user to exe execute commands with super user privileges. So to add a user to, to the, um, the pseudo group, have to use user mod hyphen a i'm going to explain what this is hyphen gene then sudo then followed by the name of the user we want to um, add in this case rexona so rexona now before we continue let's break this code down the the user mod command modifies the user account's details the ag um i think the ag here option appends the user to the specific group in this case we are appending regzona to sudo rather than replacing their existing group we are actually appending them so that's just what it is about when we are done you hit enter and just like that, our new user has been created. So now let's go ahead and switch to the new user. To switch to the new user, or to switch to the newly created user, use the su command followed by the name of the username. So the su simply means substitute user. So su followed by the name of the new user, in this case is regzona. So regzona. Okay, enter and we are now using regzona so after writing this su this command will start a new shell option as the new user managing user's password is crucial for maintaining security to change the user's password use a password command let's say we wanted to change regzona's password to something else we would say um sudo pass wd 
followed by the name of the user so in this case it's regzona we are done we hit enter now it is asking us for the password the the command will prompt you to enter the password which was already there for regzona in its case it was one two three four five hit enter now they're asking me for my new password so in this case you're going to change a new password so let's say 80 as our new password enter you're asking us to retype it then we'll go ahead and type it again 80 enter and our password has been successfully changed let's talk about deleting a user if you need to delete a user use the del user command for example let's say we wanted to delete regzona let me move this here let's say we wanted to delete regzona so in deleting regzona you type in sudo followed by the del user followed by the user you'd want to delete so now we want to delete regzona so regzona Bell. Oops, Rexona is currently used by the processor. Great. I'm currently running Rexona. So let me switch back to root and then try deleting Rexona this time. So let me close this terminal. New roots. Great. Now let's try deleting our previously created user which was regzona so in deleting that user we'll go ahead and type in sudo then we'll go in with the command del user followed by the name of the user which was regzona so regzona enter so removing crank type removing user regzona and i think our user has been removed successfully so this command will remove the user but not their home directory if you want to delete the user's home directory mail spool as well use the hyphen hyphen use the remove home option so if you wanted to remove the home directory as well you type in sudo um del user hyphen hyphen remove oops hyphen home then you then type in the name of the user, which was regzona. I think they it's it's already done, but let's go ahead and hit enter and see what we get. Wait, regzona does not exit switch. It's because we've deleted regzona here. So that's how it is in <clears throat> deleting um, a user. So be cautious when deleting users and your home directory to avoid any accidental loss of important data. now let's talk about listing users let's talk about the number of users let's say you have you want to know the number of users you have that is currently in your system to list all users in your Kali Linux system you can view the contents of the password file so let's say you wanted to list the number of users in this current machine so you can go ahead and write cuts forward slash etc this is a path to a password file so password the d then we hit enter so you can see we only have one user by name ultra the root is always a, a default user so it's not going to be displayed here so we have ultra assuming rexona was part you would have seen rexona you would have seen ultra but in this case we only have ultra so this file contains information about all the users on the system each line represents a user with filter printed by following these steps you can effectively create and manage users in kali linux enhancing your system security and usability don't forget to subscribe to the ultra guru channel for more tech tutorials and guides if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with others your support helps us create more high quality content See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.